Let's check out this other Kaiser right here. And man, oh man, this is one that I have definitely been looking forward to. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. This is the Kaiser, drum roll please, the Kaiser Molotov. Kaiser Molotov in its full glory here. I've been seeing this knife for quite some time. Um, I've been waiting to finally check it out and it is absolutely here at last. And I cannot wait to share this experience with you guys. So first things first, so as far as material, we have titanium going on there on the handles. And we have the Kaiser Micarta going on as an inlay. You know, very typical black Micarta, as you can see here on the Kaiser Banish, which we also unboxed, by the way. Check out that unboxing video if you haven't already. And that makes a great combination, kind of adds an additional layer of grip to the otherwise smooth B-blasted titanium going on pocket clip is not reversible it is uh, just a straight line right here in the middle of the handle we're going to check that ergonomics wise in just a moment and as far as employment options we got a front flipper which kind of goes all the way around that is the way to go as far as front flippers go and a nice uh, hanger <laughs> hole going on triangular hole going on uh it kind of looks like a cloth hanger right there that's uh <laughs> from your boy lefty by the way check out lefty's channel if you haven't already he makes knife uh, and EDC content as well. Go ahead and subscribe to his channel if you're not already subscribed. And so, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing open here, shall we? Here we go. Boom. You know you know your boy is going reverse flick right off the bat. Bam! <laughs> Holy smoke. Okay, that fire with some attitude. I'll tell you that. Man, okay, the Molotov finally here in the channel. Uh, we have a Styles Design. That is the designer logo right there printed on the blade. The model name is up there in the corner. And it is a stone wash drop point. Yeah, definitely a drop point. S35VN flat grind blade going on on this one. I bet this one is going to be ooh, really, really sharp. We will be doing our scientific cutting test here <laughs> later in the video. Uh, it is a bolster lock, right? So like a frame lock, but bolster because of the inlays. And yeah, check it out from this angle. Amazing, amazing access to that bolster lock or lock bar if you would yeah super easy to disengage right and then i want to say the drop shot action oof perfect <laughs> thumb deployment all right let's try some different deployments there thumb deployment is good money uh bam the reverse flick is definitely my way to go the one that i would definitely end up using the most and front flipper yes somebody say front flipper i think so that feels good now <laughs> They didn't necessarily have to go all the way to doing all this jimping because once the blade is open, you, you don't even feel that jimping anywhere at all, right? So interesting, they just took it all the way to here. So whatever you're doing, if you're doing reach around, right, you could make it work. Let me make sure I don't put additional pressure on the lock bar. And bam, that reach around feels like money right there. Bam. I do know there is a um, DLC black coated blade now and a blacked out titanium version which i think some carbon fiber inlays which costs a little bit more that one is uh, definitely one to look into as well just an overall very elegant knife like let take a second to take it in for a moment right i, I am a sucker of monochrome colors right grays and blacks and things like that so i definitely think this is a great way to go here love the combination of my carter inlays on the titanium there that carbon fiber blade is very reflective as you can see, right, which is nice and elegant. And again, great access to that bolster lock, drop shot action. I feel like they <laughs> they certainly nailed this one through and through. Man, we have a internal stop pin on this one, which is nice. And great acoustics too. I want to say good detent. Yeah, that detent is perfect for that front flipper. If it was any stiffer, it probably would uh, make the front flip in action just a tad bit more challenging or unnecessarily challenging. But because it is done the way it's done, or tuned the way it is, definitely allows for a great forward uh, front flipper deployment right there. So, yeah, definitely front flipper and reverse flick for me. And uh, thumb stud as a good backup way as well. So definitely has multiple deployment options. It scratches, <laughs> certainly scratches that fidgety factor, which if you know me, right, you know that's uh, certainly something that I look forward to on my EDC knives. Pocket clip is titanium, in case you were wondering. So nice milled titanium pocket clip. 
uh, pretty decent, maybe a tad bit long. I'm not sure. Feels maybe it could have been a hair shorter, if anything. But again, nothing crazy. They are using big hardware here, TA all around. That's certainly the right call, Kaiser. So great job. You know, there's companies out there still in 2024 doing T6 hardware for some odd reason. The community has spoken loud and clear. We like the bigger hardware. We like the T8s more than T6. If you're going to charge me over $100 for a knife, you know, whatever the amount may be, it could be $200, it could be $600. Give me some big hardware. <laughs> that is all that I, you know, one thing that I definitely I find as a pet peeve, you know, if it's a premium knife, right, should definitely come with premium everything, including the hardware itself. Uh, are these even titanium? No, they are steel. Let's, you know, yeah, steel hardware, but again, you know, you get the job done because they are bigger, right? T8 versus T6, definitely the way to go. Uh, ergonomically speaking, this feels like a very comfortable knife. There's absolutely no doubt about that. It's just a rectangular piece with round corners. Uh, all the edges are nice and round as well, uh, as well. So that feels really good. And yeah, this curvature here is where your index finger tends to go. And here's your hammer grip. Again, I have medium hands or average hands not the biggest not the smallest and i'm able to get a full purchase right there and i could forward choke if i wanted to even though there's not a designated forward choke section right as long as i'm being careful i know what i'm doing right there's even a section right here above the bolster where you could forward choke if you wanted to nice jimping on the blade all right it's the same jimping you used to uh front flip it so overall i mean great construction it feels nicely built captive pivot on the show side and the inlays are very flush inside don't see anything out of place i mean if you told me perhaps ria built this knife i don't know i, I, I probably will believe you <laughs> it's all good of a job kaiser is doing right here in 2024 so definitely give them uh kudos for that so that being said let's do some size comparisons then i mentioned this was a large knife so let's throw it here against the pm2 all right, so it's actually a tad bit shorter than the PM2, and it's going to be bigger than the pair of three, of course. No doubt about that. You guys take a look there for yourself. Here's the Demco 8020.5. It's going to be a little bit shorter. The Shark Cub is also going to be a tad bit shorter as well. So VV Vision FG, right? Very comparable in the size department. The Sentinel Strike is going to be a tad bit bigger, so definitely more vision fg size wise and last but not least here's the vosteed raccoon very popular budget knife very recommendable as well as the cjrb pyrite as well right so if you don't already own one of these definitely check one out pick one up you will not be disappointed and the molotov is just a tad bit bigger than both of these but not by a ton right not maybe a quarter inch if anything so you guys take a look there right the idea here is just to give you more or less a ballpark where the knife lands right so you know but yeah man i gotta love the action on this thing tune very well every deployment option is money drop shot action access to lock bar or bolster lock ergonomics man slow opening too right you can do a slow opening with a front flipper or with the hole itself so let's see how it does with our very scientific cutting test <laughs> we're gonna cut some cardboard and we're gonna cut some paper and as you can see it goes through paper with no issues whatsoever as expected s35 vn putting in work bam right even some longer cuts right this one got some belly to it right some nice uh, chamfers right here for personality on the blade also look pretty good yeah absolute slicer this thing is bam sure uh great performance right there boom yeah, I can cut paper all day, every day. So it also is a very comfortable knife for uh, cutting a longer period of time as well. You probably want to use gloves if you're going to be cutting cardboard, like, you know, 30 to 40 to 50 to 60 rounds or more. But yeah, it can certainly cut through cardboard as well. Here's a everyday cardboard single wall. When cutting cardboard, don't cut perpendicular, but rather at an angle like that, diagonally like that. And so it's going to look something like this. I'm going to do it a little bit slower so you guys can see it in action. Yeah, when it hits this curvature, it's going to stop naturally, but boom, it just keeps on going, right? <laughs> as, it keeps on going as demonstrated right there. Bam. Boom. Well, bam. Savage. Boom. 
Yeah, this thing will cut, ladies and gentlemen. There's absolutely no doubt about that. That flat grind is going to put in work. S35VN, amazing, amazing slicer, to say the least. And it's going to demolish that cardboard. So you guys read it in the comments. Let me know on a scale from 1 through 10 how sharp is this guy. Because keep in mind, it's not brand new sharp out of the box either. It certainly has already been seen some use through the knife pass arounds and certainly still holding a great edge in my opinion but i want to hear from you guys you know right in the comments 10 being the highest how sharp is this guy let me know well, there you have it guys that is the kaiser molotov awesome awesome design very elegant honestly very ergonomically friendly design again all deployment options are money right they all work really well very nicely tuned uh really digging it already <laughs> so you know this knife is going right in the pocket the second this video is over right off the bat because, man, this thing is a treat. It is absolutely a treat. And you guys know how it goes by now. This is just a quick unboxing, first impressions video. This is not a review video in any way, shape, or form. The review video is going to come down the line here. Obviously, you have to carry the knife for quite some time so I can try to gather as much feedback as I possibly can. If I do 3x zoom in, that's too much. <laughs> it's a little bit of a, a slightly bigger knife. Uh, I want to zoom in to give you some more of the details there. But yeah, definitely let me know in the comments what other questions, concerns do you have about this knife? What do you want to know for the review video? Let's have a discussion down in the comments. Guys, if you made it to the end, you are the real MVP. Go ahead and smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button as well. I promise you'll be worth coming back for more. I make knife and EDC content like this on a daily basis. You will not be disappointed. And if you want to support the channel a step further, there's a link for Patreon, or you can simply support the channel right here on YouTube by becoming a channel member. You'll get access to exclusive perks. But that's been it, guys. Check out the unboxing on the Banish, right? Unbox these knives all at the same time. The Banish, also from Kaiser. This is a very tiny EDC knife. Uh, I probably should zoom out a bit so you guys can see it better. <laughs> there you go. And uh, total opposite of that, from Flipper only, the Kaiser Momo that barely fits in frame. There we go. Let's do that. So I'll put a car on the right for the Momo, a car on the left for the Vanish. So you can check out either or or both. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for your love and support. I'll be catching you guys on the next video. Peace.